Present at the media conference were the NCDPHA CEO, Director's Consultant for Legal Governance, and the Chairman. They call this media conference in the interest of transparency to inform the public residents of the capital city about the activities of NCD Provincial Health Authority. The CEO, Dr. Yeni, said NCD PHA was the last of the 22 provinces to adopt the PHA health reform system. The PHA reform is a new government of PNG policy to address the fragmentation health services delivery challenges between public hospitals and provincial governments. Public hospitals were originally under the national government, while provincial health services were under provincial governments. He said there were many challenges encountered during the two system of government in terms of health service delivery. That includes the hospital being disconnected from the, the provincial system. There were no linkage, clear linkage between the public hospitals and the provincial health office. The, the health staff in the district do not report to the provincial health advisor. Public hospitals were working in isolation from the provincial government and the provincial health office. Problems with financing, who are planning, an insufficient recurrent budget uh, from the provincial government. So as a result of all this fragmentation, the country was facing poor health indicators due to deteriorating in the health service. Dr. Yanni confirmed that NCD PHA was born right in the heart of the COVID-19 pandemic. However, the public health team has successfully worked tirelessly with their key partners and stakeholders in controlling COVID-19 in NCD. He said they have also developed key partnership arrangement with NGO and key development partners. On the financial arrangement, we have, you know, the PHA financial systems, the administrative arrangements, budgeting process, and other pertinent details. Uh, We've also met with the, PHS, uh, the HSIP Secretariat regarding the establishment and use of the HSIP Trust Account that will also help uh, to fund all the public health programs in NCD. The NCD PHA chairman, David Tuo, thanked the board, saying despite many challenges, the board has collectively been able to achieve numerous important milestones that have contributed to the development agenda of the NCD PHA. My final comments in terms of those that will occupy board positions from December the 11th onwards is you have the blessings of the current board, you have our sincere wishes for a successful tenure, and you also have our strong recommendation to fully support Dr Yeni and his fine team here at the NCDPHA. Thank you. Estagane. National MTV News.